Rico is here again. In this video, we're going to talk about how we can um, integrate Facebook lead ad form um, to our platform app.recolli, um, you know, with the form being having custom field, right? So first of all, we are inside our app here and we want to go to setting and we want to come here to custom field, right? So f the first thing we need to do is, um, you know, we want to and you know we also check the integration make sure that um, everything is integrated with Facebook account um, the one that running at right and uh, we want to come here to custom field and um, you know we want to add a custom field here so we want to map out that custom field right and you also want to have another tab open which have the um, the ad the ad manager and you go inside the ad campaign and have the form ready right there in front of you right so um, with Facebook you can't really edit the form so you know make sure that you have a final form and then you click duplicate so this duplicate form have the exact information as your last form right so you just want to come here to the duplicate form and check that you know it has the right question and everything you know asking name electricity bill uh, you know, do you own your own home? All that stuff. We only ask two questions aside from their information, right? And with uh, with mobile phone number, we, we add a custom field as well, right? So um, that's that's important. So uh, you know, one thing to do is that you know, knowing the question, we have a multi-choice answer, right? So that's the drop down. It's a multi-choice answer. That's just the way we run our ad. And so you want to come in here and for the multi-choice answer, we want to select single option, right? Because um, that's just how the system works. Uh, multi-choice answer in Facebook equals to single option in app.recolize, right? So, you know, here's the important part. You should take note of this, that everything in here has to be exactly like the form on Facebook. So, the, you know, so our best practice to get this 100% correct we have to come in here and copy everything, right? Come to setting, right? Come to setting, come to field ID and copy and paste everything in here, right? It's best not to write again. If you rewrite everything, there's a chance that uh, it can be wrong. So the question is in here and the custom field is all of this thing, right? So I'm just gonna use, all right, I was just gonna use my keyboard, but uh, when we're sharing a screen, I better do everything. All right, so one per line, and then I think you must get the idea from now. All right, so now we have our first custom field, right? And when you try to edit it, you can try and edit it again if you think you did a, a mistake. And I'm just going to shoot out the second custom field real quick, and I'm going to fast forward the second uh, custom field, because you probably get the idea by now, right? So this one is the question, and that one is the drop down, and that's how it actually looks like on Facebook, right? So we're just going to go ahead and create. Okay. Now that we have two of the question, in the next video, I'm going to show you how we actually map the whole thing into a, uh, you know, into a Facebook form and app.recline. This video, we're only showing you how to create a custom field. In the next video, we're going to show you how to map them.